Hillary Clinton released an ad called Dorothy, and it's getting mixed reviews online. My review is not going to be mixed. I have strong opinions on this. Check it out. When I think about why I'm doing this, I think about my mother, Dorothy. She was abandoned by her parents at the age of eight, sent from Chicago to L.A. to live with grandparents who didn't want her. But people showed her kindness, gave her a chance. Like the teacher who saw my mother had no money for food and started bringing her extra from home, whispering, you know, Dorothy, I just brought too much food today. She went to work in somebody else's home at age 14, and it opened her eyes. For the first time, she saw parents who loved and cared for their children. And that's the kind of loving family she provided for us. When she needed a champion, someone was there. I think about all the Dorothys all over America who fight for their families, who never give up. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I've always done this for all the Dorothys. All right, I'm going to be the curmudgeonly asshole here. I'm going to be the uh, snarky, skeptical, angry grandpa-like character here. But that was absolute, total, utter horseshit. I mean, that's the that's like the sleazy political pandering 101. See, here's the problem with Hillary Clinton. When she talks, I don't believe her. <laughs> I don't believe what you're saying. It's obviously politically calculated and poll tested and her staff crafted the message and clearly she's reading off cue cards as she tells this story because she, God forbid she actually talks about her mother from her heart and says what she really feels. She got to go she has to go off the cue cards and you can tell by the way I had to watch this clip 3 or 4 times when I was editing it in order to to play it here for you guys or when I was clipping it out. And it, you can tell, like, the inflection that she puts over certain words is like, oh, she should have had, like, a comma there in her mind and she didn't have it there, so it, like, was a clunky sentence the way she said it. Like, everything about it, the cheesy music, it just smacks of insincerity. And furthermore, what the fuck does this have to do with being President of the United States of America? Hillary, I got news for you. I don't give a goddamn about your your mom, your brother, your sister, your great-great-uncle. I don't give a fuck about them. I care about what you're gonna do for the American people, what you're gonna do for the country. Don't give me anecdotes and platitudes and cliches about, oh, and then this happened in my personal life, and here's an old picture. I have a family. Don't you have a family? We both have families. Maybe you should vote for me then. <laughs> Are you buying this, guys? Are you buying this? Stop! When I, when I listen to somebody like Elizabeth Warren, when I listen to somebody like Bernie Sanders, I get the sense that, and I get the feeling that, and based on their actions, too, I get this, not just from looking at them, but they care about this shit. They care about the issues. They care about the facts. They care about policy substance, which is why you only ever hear them talking about policy substance. You never hear them talking about uh, the personalities of the other people involved in the race who are against them, who are their opponents. You never hear them talking about personal things that happened in their own lives. And when I was in eighth grade, my girlfriend broke up with me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Why would I care about that? I don't care about that. Politics is not about, hey, you're a celebrity that just happens to get to make important decisions about everybody's life. No, it's supposed to just be about the decisions you make that affect people's lives and crafting a better society. So in the process of crafting a better society, I don't care if... You grew up if you grew up with no father or no mother or you had 19 brothers and sisters or you had zero brothers and sisters. All I care about is what the fuck are you going to do on the issue of climate change? What the fuck are you going to do on the issue of money and politics? What the fuck are you going to do when it comes to the minimum wage? What the fuck are you going to do when it comes to unionization? What the fuck are you going to do about the TPP? What the fuck are you going to do about the Keystone XL pipeline? How many of those issues were brought up in this ad? Zero, zero, none of them. I walk away from this ad knowing nothing none of the substance of what Hillary Clinton is supposed to do. It's, it's fucking uh, just pandering, sleazy pandering. And it insults my intelligence. The Democrats are supposed to be the better party that actually gives a shit about the details. But what do you do? Trot out the emotional horse shit. This is the Democratic version of when a Republican in an ad holds the fucking Bible, has a cross behind him, or, and then you see him shooting a gun or some shit. <laughs> I'm with you. I like guns. I like Jesus. Vote for me. <laughs> Billy Bob, Jim Bob, Jim Bob. <laughs> Hillary Clinton's like, 
oh, my mother, oh, she was an amazing person, and I care so deeply about her, and her name was Dorothy, and I care about all the other Dorothys out there. See what I did there? See what I did there? Her name is Dorothy. There are other Dorothys. It's like uh, symbolic for everybody else. <laughs> See what I did? See what I did? It's not serious. You're not a serious person. You're treating us like the year is 1984, and you can still pull at the emotional fucking heartstrings, and people aren't out there really dealing with healthcare bills, people aren't out there really dealing with joblessness, people aren't out there dealing with all types of stuff. You're acting- I mean, we got what? We're fighting right now in six different countries? Six different countries we're fighting in one way or another, whether it's drone strikes, whether it's an all-out fighting on the ground or bombing or whatever. We're fighting in six different countries. N nothing. Not no mention of that. No mention. Of, but Kyla, uh, it's one end. Maybe she'll make more political ads later. G great, great, great. But this one should should have never been in the conversation because there are a trillion real issues to talk about. And instead, you show me old pictures and read off a fucking cue card in a cold way, talking about your mother and pretending like you care about everybody else as much as you care about your mother. You fucking don't. You don't. You're lying. It's not true. I don't believe you. So forgive me for going over the top on this, but uh, you know what? I was mad when I first saw it, but what pissed me off more is that when I read comments on it, it was mixed opinions. And I was like, how is anybody mixed on this? To me, it's insane that anybody, oh, this is why I love Hillary. Oh, you have my vote. Oh my God, how silly are you? You call yourself a Democrat, and meanwhile, you're walking around like, oh, who can tug at my heartstrings more? I watched Bambi one time and cried. Can I vote for Bambi somewhere? Can I do a write-in of Bambi? That's not the way you make decisions. That's not the way intelligent people make rational decisions in the real world. We gotta graduate, man. We gotta get over this shit. I can't believe anybody has mixed opinions on that. Look, those are not my kinds of Democrats, okay? I'm not a Democratic loyalist. I don't go, oh, who's the Democrat that polls best? Who's the strongest? That's who I'm gonna vote for. I'll rent my brain out to that person. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Especially since Hillary Clinton's taken untold amounts of money from Wall Street and the corporate class and billionaires. I'm sick of it. I'm done with it. We already know, man. We already know. Wall Street says they don't even care when Hillary does anti-Wall Street rhetoric because they say, look, we know that even though she's saying that stuff, she's going to help us when she gets in office. So if Wall Street knows that and they don't even care when she speaks out against them because they know it's fake, why the fuck would I vote for her? If I'm going to get basically President Obama slash Bill Clinton part two or part three, uh, and it's going to be even further right-wing on that, because overseas she's even more hawkish than those guys, then what the fuck? Why would I vote for you? I don't... I, it's not just the commercial, which is why I don't like her. It's her actions, it's her policy substance. Okay? Way too corporate, way too pro-establishment, way too sleazy politician, and in my opinion, this ad proves it.